Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. A royal biographer has said the distance between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle seems to get longer and wider amid reports he is staying in two hotels. Angel Levin also questioned why the Duke of Sussex would need to spend time away from the family's enormous home in Montecito. The PS12 million mansion is known as the Chateau of Riven Rock. Speaking on GB News, Levin said, they have to pay almost £117,000 in the equivalent of council tax from their local area. In it, it tells you what they've got. Library, cinema, gym, spa, pool, tennis court, seven bedrooms, 16 bathrooms reduced to 13. So why would somebody want to go and stay in a hotel to get away? I mean, it's very odd. One of the hotels is permanently booked for him, which sounds to me it's something he can rush to if things are bad. Is she shouting at him? Is he feeling depressed? There's another hotel with a gym which he also reserves. I think it's a real tragic situation because it means he can't get up with the kids if they need him. He won't be there first thing in the morning. It's a distance, isn't it? And the distance between them seems to get longer and wider. A spokesman for Harry has said the reports of him staying in hotel rooms, one in Montecito and another at his gym and fitness club in LA are not true, although the royal rumor mill is working overtime. He and Meghan bought the mansion after they stepped back from royal life in 2000 and reportedly took out a £9 million mortgage. It was built in the 1990s by multimillionaire software boss Terry Cunningham, inspired by holidays in the south of France with wife Randy. Cunningham told Hello Magazine it was a wonderful place to have lots of family around, adding, the kitchen is probably one of the coolest rooms in the house. It opens onto the side patio where the pizza oven and outdoor tables are. Living in Montecito, there's a lot of indoor-outdoor lifestyle, so you easily move from decks to indoors. Archie and Lilibet can also enjoy an adventure playground, a climbing frame, a helter-skelter, and two different climbing walls, said Hello. And Metro reported that there is a tea house and a children's cottage as well. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.